Good day everyone. So this is the presentation on how to make a research output for the first quarter for the static scientific inquiry. So I will be using our mother tongue, which is Tagalog, for us to have an easy understanding on the content of this video lesson. So the video will be focused on three things such as the discussion on the format that will be used, the content of each part, and how to present the result of your study and some reminders. Let's start with this one. So the format that we will be using is the Imran C format or the introduction, methods, or materials, for some, they use as methodology, for some methods, for some methods and materials, but we will stick with methods. And R for result, and AD, some it stands for end discussion, and some analysis and discussion. And then for letter C, we have the conclusion. We will, so, we will also include the recommendation on the output of your research. So we will be using an IMRAD C format. Result and discussion belongs to one part only. Okay, so I will be showing you a sample research using Imrad C format. This will serve as your guide on how your output should look like. Here's a sample. The sample, uh, the title of the sample study here is Inhibitory Activity of Makahia or Mimosa Pudicalin leaf extract to test organisms. So, by looking at the title or the title of your research or your study, you should consider these things. First, the title should tell the focus of the study. Based from this, from the title, the research focuses or the study focuses on the inhibitory activity of makahiya. And also, you will mention the organism that you will be using. So the organism or the plant that was used here is the makahiya. And take note that you will also put the scientific name of the plant written in correct format. The first word is capitalized and the second and third. If that, if that is composed of three words, that is written in small. And also that is italized. And also... Your title should have the dependent and independent variable. So from the title itself, the inhibitory activity of makahiya or mimosa pudica lean deep extract to the three test organisms. So the controlled variable, uh, the, the independent variable here is the mak makahiya itself, the amount of makahiya extract, and the Dependent variable is the inhibitory activity. Now, here's a sample research that we will be um, that will will be used as our pattern. So, from this research, you will see that there are parts such as the introduction, the materials and methods, the result and discussion. the conclusion and recommendation. So let us discuss each and every part. Let us start with the introduction. What should be included in the introduction? Your introduction should have the following. So the introduction states the research problem of the question you intend to address through. Your introduction would typically include some variation of the following. So these are the things that should be included in your introduction. First is the statement of the topic you're about to address. If your topic is the inhibitory activity of makahiya, that should be included in your introduction. Say something about the makahiya plant, um, other uses of that, and also... Um, when was it discovered? On what place of the Philippines there are lots of makahiya? Yeah. 
and current state of the field of understanding. Or, you will le look for other study that have the same topic as yours. Third is the problem or gap in knowledge. This, this answers the question, what don't we know yet or need to know? So, from the example, the problem gap is the inhibitory activity of makahiya on the three organisms or three samples. What does the field still needs to understand? And what, what's been left of us, uh, what, what has been left out of previous research? Is this a new issue that needs some direction? If this is a new research, then this will be a basis of the next researches that has the same topic as yours. But if this is just a continuation, you should take note of the other researches na nauna sa inyo. And then, forecast statement that explains very briefly what the rest of the paper will entail including the possible pre-explanation of the type of research if that will be a experimental research a quasi-experimental or that is a social research so for us we stick with experimental research since the top this is the subject is science here is the example a while ago so this is the inhibitory activity of the makahiya or mimosa pudicaline leaf extract to three test organisms. So, you will notice on this part, this is where the current state of the field of understanding, or this is the knowledge that is known about your topic, which is the inhibitory activity of makahiya. And then, on this part, this is where the statement of the topic or the problem is. So, on this, you, you tend to discuss what can be found on your plants or your um, material that can be a potential, that has a potential use. For this one, it mentions alkaloids and other substances that can be an inhibitory factor or inhibitory activity. And also, you should also talk of the problem gap of the knowledge or problem problems or gap in the knowledge so what are the things that you need to study about so that is the problem gap so that should be included the four things should be included in your introduction ha on the methodology this is where you will be putting the detailed process on how you make the research so if that is that if that includes you using interview, you need to interview. If you need to, if you use um, experimental method or you tend to have a product, what are the steps that you do? Example, using makahiya. Did you cut the stem first? Wash the plants? Yeah. So, so on and so forth. I would prefer the methodology to be written in paragraph form instead of bulleted type. For methodology, take a look at the methodology of this study. It is written in paragraph form. The procedure that the researcher done is written in paragraph form. And you also have the results. So, result analysis and discussion or result and discussion is only in one part of the research. So for the result, the result section is critical for the audience to understand what research shows. So this, this uh, deals with what your experiment, uh, what is the output of your experiment. And then your result should be simple or simply showing data. Nothing more, nothing less. And then, you should follow the same order as your methodology. Let's say, for example, that on your methodology, you use setup A, then setup B, then setup C. Then on your result, you will still start with setup A, and then setup B, then setup C. And then, 
be sure when you include graphics and images that you label and title every table or graphics. Let's say, for example, you only have one table. Table 1, mortality rate of insects using after using um, the garlic solution, somehow like that. And then, you will put text beneath it explaining what is on the uh, table. As you can see on table 1, ganyan, um, the average mortality rate is 4, somehow like that. And then, here's a sample on how you will present your data. Your present, the presentation of the result of your experiment. Here's one example. The topic is the effectiveness of makabuhay or tinospora Rufi E. Boer stem extract in eliminating American cockroaches or periplanta americana. So, use, um, in performing the act in, in form the experiment, you make up three setups. Setup A, which is composed of 20 grams of makabuhay stem extract into 100 ml of ethyl alcohol. The setup B is 40 grams of makabuhay stem extract to 100 ml of ethyl alcohol. And setup C is 60 grams of makabuhay stem extract to 100 ml of ethyl alcohol. You will present this in a manner wherein when, when people look at the result, it is easier for them to understand. So you can present it using this. So the presentation of result is the topic. And then put table 1. Since the table shows the mortality rate of American cockroaches or periplanta americana using setup B, A, B, and C. So, you will notice here that I have here three trials. So, let's say for example that your setup A, which is composed of 20 grams of makabuhay stem extract, which is put into spray, and then you put, and then you test it into 10 cockroaches, let's say for example. So, on the first trial, no cockroaches died. On the second trial, 1. On the third trial, 1. So, 0 plus 1 plus 1 would be 2 divided into 3. So, the average is 0 0.66. And then, for setup B, let's say, for example, using 40 grams of makabuhay stem extract, after the first trial, you spray it on, on 10 cockroaches, so, 0 died. And then on the second trial, 1. And then on the third trial, 2. So, the average is 0 0.6. 0 point, uh, sorry, that is 1. The average is 1. And then, for setup C, 1 on the first trial. Setup C is composed of 60 grams of makabuhay stem extract to 100 ml of ethyl alcohol. So, on the first trial, one cockroach, one cockroach died. On the second, one also. On the third, you have two cockroaches. So an average of 1.33. Again, on setup B, that is the average is 1. So based on this, you will make an interpretation out of the table. So you can say there that table 1 shows that setup A has an average of 0 0.66 mortality rate. Meaning that 0 0.66 cockroaches died using setup A, somehow like that. So you will do it on all the setups. After the result, the next thing is analysis. On other types of research, analysis is not included because that is, al that is already inside the result and discussion. But for analysis section, which is, which is um, under result and result in discussion on analysis this is where you will explain the result of your experiment the same as for for discussion for discussion this is you will conclude the the result of your study and then you will also note the limitation of your study on the discussion they say, for example, from the experiment of inhibitory activities, this one.
Yeah. So from your discussion, you will say there that um, the result of your of your study, which is um, of all the setups, one point thirty three, um, setup C has the highest mortality rate, which is one point thirty three. This is to note that it is only limited to American cockroaches or periplanta americana. Because if if other research researchers uses your study and they uses other species of cockroaches, it would have the same result. Or sorry, it would have a different result. So going back to this one. This is the discussion part of the research sample. So you will notice here that it only put the table and then the discussion. Yeah, that's it. And then after that, you will have your conclusion. The conclusion part, it's, it, it, it is intended to help the, leader, the reader understand why the research should matter to them after they finish reading the paper. So, a conclusion is not merely a summary. It's not just a summary, but it is a point of restatement of your research problem. But in a synthesis key point, what are the important things that should be considered or to be kept in mind from the result of your research? From the sample research that I've shown you, there is the, word, there is the conclusion also. And then for the recommendation, um, what are the things that should be studied on, on your research? Here's a sample. For the conclusion here, we have here a simple statement showing the result of the study. And then for recommendation, you will see here that it recommends to use or to do other activity or ad do other experiments using makahiya Diff extract. Okay, so that is how you will present your research. I just want to remind everyone for those who are conducting study on plants, fertilizer, you should start your research now. And then for those who are uh, using plants for insecticide, you should have your product to be presented on October 31. Okay, that's all. And then looking forward for your positive output or positive research. Have a good day and God bless everyone.